no team has won more Stanley Cups than the Canadians. Under all those title banners, the Habs are on home ice here in Montreal. Greetings, everyone. Along with Stanley Cup winner from 1994, Eddie Olchek, I'm Mike Emery. That hallowed trophy will probably be in the building before the evening is over. Tends to be fashionably late when it could be handed out. Think of this from the perspective of the team facing elimination tonight. They know their dream of getting their name on the cup. That cup's going to be in the building, but maybe they aren't going to get it. So how do they think about this game? Well, I think that's a little bit of a motivation, Doc, to keep the Stanley Cup behind closed doors, give themselves an opportunity under this adversity to get back in this series. We direct our attention to the Nets and the starting goalies. The playoff prize is within reach. All those dreams about being a champion could finally be realized here tonight. His team has seen success, could close this out tonight, but they can't take the pedal off the metal. They'll need to play just as hard if they want to take this one out. We are ready for the first face-off of the night. Bruins the starting center for Montreal. Littles there for Winnipeg. This Stanley Cup final game is underway. Mike Emmerich here, Eddie Olchek next to me, and Ray Ferraro down near the ice. A shot. Terrific save. Directing that one to Connor. What a tremendous hit. Weber's apparently got the memo here. This is going to be a physical game. Both teams are going to want to get on the body. But he wants his club to have the upper hand. He's got that one measured in the attacking zone. A shot. Hit the post with the shot. Little's on the limp after that big hit, Doc. He's working his way slowly to the bench. Fires did what he's made to do. To Connor. Trying to go to line A. Now it's directed to Connor. That one is pointed to him. Brings the shot. Pitching it to Gallagher. Passes into unhindered terrain. Take it out along the boards. It's pretty clear he wanted to send a message with that hit. He followed through and thumped him. Pass attempt to Armia. The Canadians are at the wing in neutral ice. Scorches one. Score! Interesting guys after the first goal is scored. Whether the team that scored is going to continue to attack or whether they'll sit back a little bit. Some shots, only one goal. A lot of opportunities. Love the mindset of getting pucks at people to the net. Neutralized face-off win. Looking to Cobb. That puck is loose up a good defensive play. Steps across that line. Went to the backhand. Nice save there. They're going to have to do better than that to beat him. Laid on to Morrissey. Gathered up by Myers. Heaves one. What a shot, but a great answer with the glove. Great save. In all alone. What a save made all alone. Nice face-off win. Lifts one. Great save. And he puts the glove on it and stops play. The team has always leaned on him as one of their offensive producers. In the playoffs, you have to look to your best players to be your best. And here he is in the top ten. Good face-off victory there. A superb hit. A great hockey play there. I like that he's trying to create space by throwing the body around. This is a way to change momentum in a hockey game. A 
freeze pump now. Outstanding body contact. Oh, and he misses. That had a lot of steam on it, but he just missed the shot. Driving in from no man's land. It's just him. Great point blank save. That great save was all positioning. Pitching this one to Cherot. And in flight over the line. Outstanding save. Star! The rookie connects in the playoffs. First time. I guess this game's not going to spread out. That goal ties it. The teams are so evenly matched. A little over six minutes remaining in the period. Scrappy game. Both of these teams have connected once. Chance goal. Scored by number 19, Nick Sturdivis. Assisted by number 15. Puck grab. They're ready to go. Good, solid defense there. Somebody got in early, so offside is called. The Canadians control at center ice. Carries it on in from center. The lane was jammed, and it hit somebody. Not a long pass, but effective. He's got it. Good place to shoot from. Oh, what a hit that one was. Weber's skill is known throughout the league, but when he throws his body around, everybody takes notice. Veselainen skating to neutral zone. Shoots one. Great stick there. Wonderful stop. Oh, the pass just didn't work. Nice play with the stick. Nothing more will come. Shoots that pass ahead. Oh, that's more than your normal rub out. You want to get by as quick as you can on the boards. Maybe you can slide through. Not there. Doors closed. Starts a breakout by passing ahead of the play. Back to the point to Bufflin. Recollected. Shot. Wonderful save. What skill by both goalie and shooter. Now that's a timely save. A beautiful one. 20 minutes in the books and a lot more hockey to be played. Both teams have connected one time. 1-1 one, one after 1. Please don't throw any objects on or towards the playing surface at any time during the game. The throwing of any object is grounds for immediate... The second period is underway. Little's trying to do way too much there with that offensive opportunity. Brings it in for an attack. Save. Propelled to Truba. Carried right down the middle of the ice. A collision. I wonder if that hit will change the momentum of this game. Dogged determination there by Buffman. Moving into Little. Tremendous hit. That's what you call a wardrobe malfunction. Taking that big hit and losing your helmet. Montreal's minor is for charging. Well, too many strides taking while making contact and getting the minor penalty. The Jets will send out their power play unit for the first time. Oh, well, you get your power play on the ice for the first time. You can really generate some momentum whether you score or not. Have a positive power play. 48 seconds. Solid defensive position there. Dishes it back, and he gets it back. Good save there. Montreal's hoarding the puck at mid-ice. From the outside. Save there. That puck is held, and the whistle stops play. Puck drop, face off one, and the winger stepped right in. 
Just great positional play. And they are in. Intercepts that pass. Maybe he can generate something. One on one. That one went off his mask. Shoots. Score! A power play goal. And it's a biggie. opportunity with the man advantage to take the lead. They break the tie by moving the puck around and getting the puck to the front of the net. Nice work here. Winnipeg's broken the tie and gotten back ahead, and we're still in the second period. Should be fun just to get to the end of this one. And they've taken that face off between the blue lines and won it. Crosses that line. Back on his stick. Very important steal for him. He finally got it out of there. He lost it, but got it back. Nice work by Ben. Feeds the point. And he shoots one. He wore that puck on a hard shot. Got that tremendous scoring chance. And he's tripped, and there'll be a penalty. Whistle blown, play stopped. The referee will hand out a penalty. The Jets have been handed a minor penalty for tripping. Oh, this is clearly a tripping call. He made no attempt to play the puck and took the legs out from the attacking player. The Canadians will get their first power play crack of the game. Let's see how they do. Always important to win the special teams battle, or at the very least, come out even. Passing one off now to Lowry. Scooped up by Myers. And at an angle to Buffalo. What a heavy hit. Oh, did he take a big hit there? His helmet's bouncing across the ice. Wow, that's a mean hit. What a mean hit. And it brings the arms of the referees up. The Canadians lose a man for two minutes for charging. Solid face-off win. Skill play by Dustin Bufflin. Smart recovery by Shaw. Let's it go. Send it wide. Drill. Didn't miss by much. You've got to make the goalie make the save. Can't do that unless the puck is on the net. A little under eight minutes have gone by. Game was tied. Not anymore. Fires a shot. At least he protected his goaltender. Drill. Great opportunity denied. Cranks a shot. A wonderful save of the goal crease. Puck drop, tie up, and help from the winger. Nicely done. Might go back the other way. Good interception by Gallagher. Puck loose, now picked up. Puck is thrown to Wheeler. Oh, they want him to play like this all the time, guys. He's been a runaway steamroller this game. He has gone over top of three or four players already. A howitzer. Chip to Cherok. Cursed by a broken stick. Off the mark with the shot. Terrific opportunity, though. Not often you get in that prime scoring area with the puck on your stick, and then your stick breaks. I'd say this game is played out pretty much according to plan. Both teams have been really focused on the defensive side of the puck. There's not much room. It has been pretty physical, and when there are chances, the goalies have been sharp. The Jets' power play let them down at a key point. Need to get rid of it. Solid work there by Shea Weber. Snapping a pass to Gallagher. Let's it rip. Say. A long scorcher. Outstanding hitting in this 
game. There's an example. Oh, he thought he was going to be able to squeeze through there, but the door got slammed. He got crushed into the boards. Shoots one. Nice tip of the pass. Couldn't do what he wanted. On to Coach Kanyemi. Takes it in from the neutral zone. Cuts off the passing lane in the defensive zone. Shooting! That's a great save. He cut him down on that rush. Directing that one to Armia. Quick wrister! No! He couldn't be standing in a better spot to shoot the puck, and he misses the net from there. That was a big hit. Shoots one. And a save. Well done with that pass. Trying to go to Lowry. Good job done with the stick. Way to break up that play. And he steps across the line. A long a breakaway. Did not get anything up. The Canadians with a neutral zone possession along the way. What a ripper! Great save. Holds on and gets that whistle. The Jets have worked to have a productive offense, and the bump in production here in the playoffs from him has been a real benefit for them. Other teams try to shut him down. They try to get a guy right in front of his face as much as they can, but he always seems to find the sliver of room to be able to produce. And now it's directed to Veselina. In the second period. Holds in the corner. Back to the point. Oh, wonderful play. They've been so responsible with the puck most of the night. It's plays like that that they just haven't made. This isn't the time to start being risky. They won that draw, and it's all. Chuck that right away. 40 minutes have been played. Some hits given, some shots fired. But let's see what they have in mind as we get closer to the start of the third period and crunch time. Let's look at the shots on goal totals through the first two periods. 21 for Montreal and 14 for the Jets. Two periods played, one period ahead. What are your thoughts so far, Eddie? Montreal's got a real tough task ahead of him as we get ready for the third period. They know they're facing a hot goaltender. They know they've created a lot of chances. They need a bounce. They need to get a greasy goal. In order to do that, you've got to put yourself right in front of the goaltender. Pitching it to Gallagher. Is able to move on in. Flings it. The glove like lightning. The Canadians prevailing on the faceoff. Didn't get a thing of that one. Winnipeg's cleared. A lot of work, but penalty time less and less now. Won that face off. Now what? Wonderful stop. Rubbed out along the boards. This is what you call a great body check. Legal along those boards. Pass attempt to Weber. Looking to Drew in. In with it now. Wristed one. Perfect save. Good shooting place. Outstanding save off a chance. From his own end on the power play, it's taken by Shea Weber. Cut off that pass at center ice. No team worth its name is going to let that go. Marvelous save. No time on that one. The shooter thought he had a chance, but the goaltender robs him. What a stop. They win the draw. What next? Intercepted that one at an important place. Hatchets one. Save. And he holds on and stops playing. Off that face off from the tie up, the help came. Got it back out of the zone. 
Still time on this power play, but not much. Puck picked up by Petrie. And the pickup. The Canadians up the wing are moving the puck. Say! And on top of that, another great stop! Good job on the draw. Winnipeg's winging it at neutral ice. Got it in the slot. Wonderful play by the defense. And angled to Morrissey. A big, big hit. Took that away in his own zone. The Canadians have it along the side at mid-ice. Rister, save! Oh, snaps the shot! Just couldn't find the target. When the puck sounds hard, when it hits the end boards, that means you've missed the net. Scoring chances handed away. Skill play by Brendan Gallagher. Muscled long to Myers. Using the point, he's got it. That shot hit a man. Puck controlled now by the defense. It is icing called on this play, and so we'll have a face-off all the way back. Clean win on the draw. Look out, here it comes! Weber's often the object of a target. He's so good, nobody wants to give him much room, but he gets tagged in. Winnipeg's looking to head man up the wing. Chip down. Zone to zone to Lowry. His way to make an impact on the game is with the body. He came in trying to be as physical as possible. There hasn't been a shift. You haven't noticed him yet. Slid to Lowry. Puck ricocheted off the screen. This game is going to wind down and be close right to the final horn. Each team has tried to enforce their style of play on the other. It's just not happened. And he dumps it in. Two drew in. Delay penalty coming up. Whistle is blown. Penalty called. And the penalty box door swings open. The Jets are guilty of a minor penalty for interference. Clearly an interference call not allowing the player to get involved into the play. Plenty of good looks on the power play. They got to stay with the same game plan. Eddie, I'm with you on that. After an ineffective power play earlier in the game, let's see if they can get a little more organized, get the puck into the zone and get it on net far more frequently. The Canadians are skating it back in their own end. Skates it into the zone. You can almost count that one, but no, what a save. Down to ringside we go yet again. Ray, what do you know? This is just one of the best goaltending performances you're ever going to see. He has had traffic all through the night. He has had rebounds to deal with, and he's been almost perfect. Man, these saves highlight some of the play that he's had tonight. A spectacular performance for him, Ray. Eddie and I have talked in the intermission about how we can think of at least three or four that are going to wind up on a highlight reel. Good clean win. Hammer may not have been intentional, but he got it anyway. Good job of clearing. That puck's loose up. Good defensive play. Puck gathered in behind the net. Outstanding save. What magic to even get the shot away. That was a tougher stop than look. The Canadians continue on in their own end. Shot on. That is a shot that went way wide. Boy, that puck was really humming off the stick. Unfortunately, it missed the net badly. Grab! Great chance ahead! That puck struck him in front. Shot it back out of his own end. Breaks away! Point blank save. Long way to go and not much time to do it. Wonderful block. Pitching this one to Deneau. Moving it to Myers. The Jets faced a power play at a key moment in the game and did away with it.
from the slaughter wrister. The lane was jammed and it hit somebody. The Canadians are carrying it in their own zone. Good, solid defensive play with the stick. He's in front with it. No time to react. Didn't need it. Save. Now that's a beautiful stop on a great scoring chance. Really quick grab. Passing one off now to Cobb. That is up close and personal. He's been all over the place and now trying to spark his team with a solid hit as they try to level up this game. No! Gotta get it on net. That shot exploded off his stick and he just missed. Oh, I'll bet they had his number before the game. They've sure hit it. And he dumps it in. That's one way to create forechecking pressure at this time of the game. In the third period. Less than a minute to go. Good luck to us all. What a hit that was. You come through that area of the ice, somebody's looking to light you up. It's an onside play. Toward the net. Oh, Pat stop on the redirect. Oh, it laid there, but he got the whistle and home to play. Goalies have to make a half a dozen great stops in a win. This is one on a beautiful move, but there is nowhere for the puck to go. There is a game plan for this if you win it. If you win it, you've got a chance. Otherwise, no luck. Let's see. Fires! Score! And that has tied the game. The game is tied, and we'll see who can get the upper hand in the next few minutes. Weber's tied this game up late. Does he have another inning? Maybe now? Maybe overtime? It's a face-off win. May not seem important in that territory, but they have possession. Let's it go. Kick save. Outstanding. Dished off by the goalie and almost into trouble. Gains that offensive line. Blocked. Score! up off the mat after that one. That late goal could very well be the game winner. Montreal's broken the tie here in the third period. Let's see what happens before time expires. The tie-up. He needed help and he got it. Winnipeg's getting the goalie to the bench. Net empty. Extra man out. And it is an icing, and back it comes. And check the clock, there's not much time. 39 seconds. One last risky attempt to get back in this game. You pull the goalie. Put an extra man out, and you should win the faceoff, or you're in trouble. From childhood, the daydream of getting to hold 35 pounds of history, and it's about to come true. They will win the biggest prize. And the game is over. The series is over. Montreal's won the Stanley Cup. Do you believe the celebration going on? A fitting tribute to a wonderful season. Training camp in September was a dream for this team. It is a nightmare. They got so far. We'll have the same short summer, but nothing to show for it.
You go through the handshake lineup and there is sportsmanship to be shown, but it's hard to let go of the intensity of a long and bitter series. The playoff MVP gets the Conn Smythe Trophy, and here is the winner. I'm always interested in the way the player reacts to getting this trophy. It's almost like they want to get out of there so they can celebrate the Stanley Cup. You've been selected as the best player in the playoffs, but really all you can think about is that your team is champions. It's often said it's the hardest prize to win because it takes eight weeks. And by tradition, the captain is the first to hold it high. I can guarantee you that picture right there with the cup up over his head will be displayed prominently in his home. One moment he can be proud of and will cherish forever. There's always interest in how the Stanley Cup has passed player to player, and they take their victory lap with it. Players are injured and banged up, yet it doesn't seem to matter how much that 30-pound trophy really weighs. Doug Waite actually got it over his head once with a dislocated shoulder. In what would be his last Stanley Cup victory, Wayne Gretzky gathered everyone at center ice for a team picture, and that has now become a custom.